Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. A Fairfield High School student facing weapons charges after police say he brought a Glock-style pistol and an extended magazine to school in a backpack. Officials at Armijo High School say the student had an ongoing issue with another student. A 37-year-old man is in custody after allegedly attacking a man visiting his wife's grave in Auburn. Police say the victim saw the man vandalizing his car and confronted him only to be attacked. The Los Angeles City Council has voted to censure Councilman Gil Cedillo and Kevin DeLeon, as well as former Council President Nori Martinez. They were the three caught on tape making racist comments about colleagues. A 65-year-old woman is in custody after a violent attack on a Pasadena home using a pickaxe. Inside the home at the time, a grandmother and her six-week-old granddaughter. Neither were hurt. Police believe the woman was suffering from a mental health crisis. In Las Vegas, former Clark County Public Administrator Robert Tellis has pleaded not guilty of killing investigative journalist Jeff German. Tellis is being held without bail. It comes amid escalating concern that the country could be planning a nuclear assault on Ukraine. U.S. officials are stating that there are no indications right now that a nuclear attack is imminent. One construction worker died and two others were hurt when a bridge under construction collapsed in rural northwest Missouri. The cause of the collapse is under investigation. President Biden today highlighting his plan to crack down on so-called junk fees. The administration is targeting overdraft fees charged by banks as well as bad check fees, which are levied against a bank customer when a check is not valid. More than $68 million is headed to California to pay for more than 170 electric school buses for 21 school districts. The money comes from the bipartisan infrastructure bill passed earlier this year. First responders rescued five people in Arizona who got trapped underground when an elevator to the Grand Canyon Caverns broke. They were down there nearly 30 hours. Some were able to walk the 21 flights of stairs to get out, but that was not an option for those who were disabled. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.